Hey guys, welcome back to the VoIP guys. Uh, we are back again with yet another sort of advanced SIP tutorial. Uh, last time around, we... Advanced. <laughs> okay, fine. It's not so advanced for you, but for me, I'm sitting there going... <laughs> it's very <laughs> advanced. Um, yeah, uh, so last time around, we went uh, in sort of part two of the SIP introduction, and this time around, Matthias is going to go even further mm -hmm. into detail uh, about the protocol itself mm -hmm. and how to use it and how to understand yes. it. And uh, about about the complexity, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's like this. We are re reducing the complexity, and maybe sometimes we are not saying everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe we skip the whole encryption part and why use TCP instead of UDP, blah yeah. blah blah. But we just do this to keep it simple and mm -hmm. you have a chance to understand. Yeah. And eventually, at some point in the future, we'll probably mm -hmm. cover this. So yes. Yeah. So hopefully, it's we will see it in the comments. Yeah, maybe I, I, we, we'll, we'll, we'll find see. out. Yes, <laughs> yeah. we will find it out. Okay. So Matthias, uh, take it away. Where are we starting? Uh, we're starting with Codex now. Um, as we discussed last time, we have the SIP initiation protocol itself and mm -hmm. the SDP protocol, where um, the two. Um, parties are discussing which codec to use. Mm -hmm. What is a codec? We said it um, in an earlier video, but very, um, very short only. Mm -hmm. A codec is something we are, we have an analog voice. Yeah. Um, the analog voice gets somehow in digital packets. Mm -hmm. The somehow is the codec. Yeah, so it's, it's sort of like a little translation device that yes. translates our analog tones into digital yeah. digits and then back again. Yes, there is m much technology to do that uh, mic in the microphone and so on, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But the point where it is from analog to digital mm -hmm. and digital means where it's encapsulated in packets. Yeah. That's done by a codec and the codec just describes how to do the encapsulation. Okay. And there are many different kinds of um, um, codecs and encapsulations. Mm -hmm. um, Many of them do a compression. A compression. They yep. try to uh, not to waste bandwidth, and they all have different quality uh -huh. of voice. Okay. So we cannot go in depth in codex and how they really work because it's too much. Yep. But I think everybody should know some codex and should know something about the bandwidth they okay. need. The most common codec is G711. Um, why is this so common or why is this so yeah, important? This is the ISDN codec. Right. And there are two, um, yeah, two variations of it. This is ALA and MULA. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically the same, but um, one is more in Europe. That's yeah. ALA and MULA is more in uh, states if right. they have ISDN because they have analog landlines or then yeah. zip trunks, so mm -hmm. um, maybe not. But this is the most common codec in, in Europe. Why? Because you have ISDN quality and that's mm -hmm. what you expect if you change to SIP. It should not be... Um, uh, it should you shouldn't lose quality. That, yeah, you, should, you shouldn't lose quality. Yeah, you should keep that at the same level that you had before. Exactly. And if uh, what you can see here, the needed bandwidth of the codec is 64K. Um, Why? Mm -hmm. Because ISDN, if you remember the ISDN time, I don't <laughs> know if you dial up with ISDN in the internet, this is exactly what you got. Okay. 64K mm -hmm. with ISDN. Um, that's not much. Um, and why is there another bandwidth? Um, here, this is the payload. And then you need to encapsulate the payload in the IP protocol and mm -hmm. the Ethernet frame and so on. And then you need some more description per packet. And this is the packet overhead. So okay. you need um, 87K um, for ISDN quality. Okay. So that's what you can expect. Um, mm -hmm. You should not know 87. You could say 100K mm -hmm. for one line. Yeah. So that's not much. Mm -hmm. And then you could wonder, yeah, why do I need such a good internet connection when I want to talk, um, uh, when I only need 100k for um, my codec? Mm -hmm. So you could wonder why. But it does not depend on the bandwidth you got with the internet connection, but with the quality. Uh -huh. with um, the response time, yeah. with the ping times, mm -hmm. um, how fast it is, yeah. how reliable it is. Um, 
this is more important uh, than bandwidth it itself, you can see here. Okay. Then uh, there is a commercial codec, so uh, G711 is just chipped with asterisk, you can use it okay. uh -huh. immediately. Then there is a commercial codec you can buy directly from the asterisk guys, from the gym. Okay. Um, you can see um, the codec is very, very good, uh, 8K only. Not bad. Um, with the overhead um, of the TCP uh, header, Ethernet frame and stuff, um, you have again more 31, but um, the bitrate itself is really, really low, I think. Mm -hmm. And it is almost like ISDN quality. Okay. Um, it's a commercial codec, you can buy it. And, and you can he see here, there are many, many other codecs. Mm -hmm. One of the most famous codecs now um, for maybe you heard about is HD quality on the phone net. Uh -huh, yeah. That's uh, G722. Okay. That's the HD codec. It's also um, f a free codec, which mm -hmm. you can just use, which is shipped with asterisk, and you can test HD uh -huh. uh, if you want to. The problem is most SIP carriers don't use it's HD codecs, uh, so they need uh, they use G711. Uh -huh. So you can test it internally. And another important thing is you need a phone mm -hmm. which has a very good hardware where you can really hear it. Yeah. The problem is if you just use the HD codec, what happens? Um, the the bandwidth is higher. Then you mm. can hear not the bandwidth of um, uh, that you need on the on um, the codec on, on the codec, but the bandwidth of your speech, so you yeah. can hear more highs and lows of your voice. Mm -hmm. And if just you have the good codec, then you just hear how ugly G711 is. So painful. Yeah, it's painful. Mm -hmm. And the next thing could be the codec is very good, but your hardware is so bad and it's optimized for G711. Yeah. And then you cannot have the advantage. So what uh -huh. you really need, I. have one here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one we got, we got earlier. Is a phone, and here you can see it's marked with, I hope you can see it, HD. <laughs> <laughs> that means it does not only support the codec, but it um, also supports um, a good mic um, okay. that you can really transfer it to a G7. Okay. Um, 22. Mm -hmm. And there are other codecs. Um, one codec is Opus. Mm -hmm. Or Opus, I, I don't know how, Opus, to, yeah. Opus, how yeah. to pronounce it correctly. Um, the problem about uh, Opus is really, really good. Um, it solves, some people say it solves all the problems, uh, HD with no bandwidth, and it's really, really a great codec. Mm -hmm. But um, there are some problems uh, about the legality to use it. Uh. So you can run into trouble, and it's not sure or it's not safe, or some people say mm -hmm. it's not safe to use it because of law and problems with rights, stuff uh -huh. like this. So yeah. Asterisk did not implement it yet. Okay, so you, can, good, you can, you good can patch tip. it yeah. into mm -hmm. Asterisk if you want to take the risk, but the Asterisk guy say mm -hmm. we don't touch it because it's not safe for now. Yeah, so there's a good top tip. If you're going to try and uh, integrate the Opus uh, codec, find out exactly whether you are legally allowed to mm -hmm. in your country. Yes, not <laughs> only you, you're, yeah. you know, maybe maybe you're <laughs> living in a country where the law is not so strong. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Yeah, but that's it. Um, what you should really know is G711, that this is the standard codec mm -hmm. in most cases, then that you can switch to an HD codec, there, that there is the com commercial codec uh, 729, yep. which you can use, um, and the myth about Opus. Right. So that's it with um, the codecs. Mm -hmm. Now another thing I want to show you is um, how you can debug um, or start debugging SIP and making SIP traces. The first thing is you can just go to the asterisk CLI. We've been there very, very often yeah. and mm -hmm. just enable <laughs> the debug. But think about the system which is under heavy load mm -hmm. and then it just would scroll through yeah. and you can see nothing, only the beauty of signaling <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else. Yeah. Um, so it's a good idea to make a dump on the system like this TCP dump. You can dump it to a file 
and then do what you want to debug and then copy your file to your local machine and open it in Wireshark. Wireshark is a really, really great tool to debug and we will use it mm -hmm. in one of our next series to okay. see all we can see and debug out of the SIP protocol. Another thing I want to show is um, the Camellio World YouTube channel. Um, there is a video which is really, really great, not because it's made by Pascom, but um, <laughs> not, not only. <laughs> yeah, not only. We were the ones that produced the video, but yeah. we weren't actually the ones in the video. No. The content is very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, you can have a look at it. And it's one of the most viewed videos in the channel also, because it's about troubleshooting SIP. Mm -hmm. And there is really much content in there, how you can debug which tools you can use, um, what are the most common mistakes and problems. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a really, really good starting point um, to know something about the tools, know something uh -huh. about um, what you it, can use. And it's good to have an online reference Yes, that you can always just go back to. Yes, and you can okay. also, I think, they answer questions yeah. if you have a question there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's what I want to show. And next time we really go deep into it, we dive into it with Wireshark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we cool. Will see. Well, there you have it. Next time we're going to go have a look at uh, Wireshark. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Until next time. See Goodbye. You.